Hey, this is just a short video on uh, how to install the Leading Edge Series multifunction frame for the KME. Basically, just a reminder, this is not an exoskeleton or a support frame in any sense. It is merely an upgrade system for your KME to be able to do fine tuning adjustment for your angle sharpening angles and to use them uh, these wheels in combination as a uh, stone thickness compensator. This is also a parking hook for the KME rod when you're not uh, while you're busy sharpening. So basically what we have to do is remove the nut in the back of the spring, carefully removing the spring spaces and spring, then loosen up your clamp wing nut to be able to get the clamp bar forward of the frame. After that, loosen the bearing holder nut in the back, metal plate, and remove the bearing from the frame. Now your KME frame is ready for the installation of the leading edge multifunction frame for KME. So it's basically as easy as facing the face the park hook to the back of the KME, digital angle cube platform on the top, simply slide it over your KME frame all the way down. Give this a bit more space all the way down. threaded clamp thread bar through the hole, retighten the wing nut all the way to the front. Reinstall the spring spacers, first spring spacer, the spring itself second spring spacer and reinstall the nut for the spring tension. The next step will be to rotate the plastic little frame holder out of the way. Place your um, bearing holder assembly in the front of the KME. Metal plate in the back. Then simply rotate this little parking hook assembly and adjusting frame uh, plastic frame part over the bolt itself and reinstall the nut in the back of your uh, bearing assembly. Easy as that. Now the system is ready to be used and to be installed on a KME platform of choice. Once installed, the top section here is used as a zero level for your digital angle platform or digital uh, angle cube as a platform. And these two little nuts here are used either in combination locking them in opposite directions for a stone thickness compensator or by themselves one at a time for a fine tuning adapter. If you loosen the bearing assembly in the back then this is loose, it slides up and down and now while using your digital angle cube on the uh, KME sharpening rod you can very 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 accurate, accurately adjust the angle in microscopic increments by using one of the threaded wheels. Once you reach the position, you can hold the top threaded, threaded wheel into place and simply lock it in place with the bottom one. And then lock your uh, bearing assembly in place. And that's how you do fine tuning ad adjustments. To use it as a stone thickness compensator, you'll basically have your sharpening angle set on the KME, rotate 
rotate both of these out of the way. Put one of your sharpening stones, the first stone that you do your sharpening with. Into position. Once you reach your sharpening angle, put the sharpening stone in, rotate these up. Until the stone touches the top and the bottom of the nuts. Lock these together. Continue sharpening with your first stone. And once you uh, go up to the next stone, if it's thinner or thicker, all you simply do is loosen the bearing assembly. Install the next stone, whatever the thickness may be. And lock your bearing assembly again. And now you've compensated for the next stone up in your system and sharpening.